Hello everyone, it's Jim Hiles. It's Financial Friday. It's the 19th of November and happy almost Turkey Day. Here we come up and you can believe it, our Thanksgiving is here. So I uh, hope you enjoy your family and friends. We'll probably talk again next week at some point. But let's just give a, a, a quick run through as to what's going on in the markets right now. Again, this, this week so far, it's been a pretty quiet week overall as earnings are continuing to produce overall positive results. I think we've had over 80% of the earnings reported are beating uh, analyst estimates, which is positive for the stock market in general, positive for the economy in general. In the last five days, technology has come back on pretty strongly. We've had some fall off in other places around the market, specifically in energy and real estate. So a little risk on growth, a value off type of week. When you look at what's going on sort of underneath you know, today, for example, you had Target and Lowe's report, and one went up 3%, and the other one went down 3%, and they had similar numbers. So it's, it's one of those kind of wacky times within uh, earnings report season. Um, technology overall has, has come back, as I said a moment ago. The growth rate seems to be back on. Uh, one of the issues out here is we've seen a little turnout in COVID cases. There have been a number of them in upstate New York in particular that are raising eyebrows. So hopefully, as people go indoors for the winter, you know, this case count goes back down. We're 63% total vaccinated right now uh, at double dose. So as, as a country, we're still lagging behind our European counterparts, which is kind of embarrassing. So uh, overall, I think we're in good shape. Industrials overall have picked up a little bit. We've seen materials and chemicals. These, these guys tend to benefit from rising prices. So it kind of makes sense that they're, they're picking up. On the other hand, staples continue to just not do well in comparison to the S&P. And communication service, which had a big pop from Metaverse, which is the old Facebook, uh, seems to have cooled off a little bit. We're going to go into Metaverse in another video. I'll probably pull it up the next couple of weeks as to what it is and how it works. So stay tuned to that. Uh, leaders and laggards, uh, industrials, materials are hanging in there doing okay. Discretionary money is being spent. So people are spending, maybe they're doing it now in light of the fact that they've got to get their stuff in before uh, the supply chain issues cut off anything that has to do with the holidays. We are looking at energy prices. Again, we still think they have a good shot at getting to 100, depending on the, the supply demand in terms of what it looks like. We're talking about a White House increasing supply right now to keep, keep prices under control. Uh, certainly is an impact when it comes to inflation. Uh, we do play around with our sector trades here. We're doing uh, pretty well for the year. Again, we're still favoring technology, financial services, healthcare, and communication services here. Overall, I think the market itself is um, going to report a fairly good uh, month for the month of November. This is seasonal. Uh, is generally a good time of the year. We had an industry report come out, I think it's from Morgan Stanley, that their S&P call is actually lower than we are for next year than we are right now. So it's just giving you a feel for maybe the economy itself is, is, is hitting what they call peak growth. And now we have to actually work our way through this next phase of the COVID recovery. We still have not seen the huge recovery we thought we'd get yet in the travel business. I was out traveling at a conference this weekend in New Orleans, and it was a packed flight. The airports were fairly busy, so people are getting out. But the conference itself was about... 50% attendance down from a couple of years ago. So significant impact still from COVID. Uh, we think that this is going to help turn around the that business and the economy going into 2022. Anyway, we'll talk to you all soon. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and give us a call. Thanks.